The Elliott Spitzer sex scandal grows, the Navy Admiral in charge of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan resigns, and Barack Obama wins the Mississippi primary. Hello and welcome to the news. The G is silent. New York Governor Elliot Spitzer may have spent as much as $80,000 on prostitutes and then structured the payments to avoid being noticed. People on Wall Street today were all like, woohoo, he's getting his comeuppance, he's getting his comeuppance. They called him the Sheriff Wall Street, he was a lot of trouble for us, and now he's getting his comeuppance. Hypocrite. Meanwhile, Republicans in New York were all like, It's the, it's the timer on your career. Yeah, you have a little uh, deadline Yeah, to resign. <laughs> Mideast military chief Admiral William Fallon says he's stepping down because there's a growing perception that he's at odds with the Bush administration on Iran policy. Fallon was all like, look, I don't really know what to do. I... There is this growing perception that I am at odds with the administration. So um, as much as I love this really rewarding job, that's just awesome all the time. I just, you know what, for the good of the war, I'm going to have to step down because, you know, I just, God, I love this job. It's definitely okay. So yeah, I'm just resigning. Meanwhile, a Pentagon spokesman was all like, uh, this was totally his choice. And we didn't like, uh, we didn't say, look, fall in line, buddy, or resign. This is all him. He just, do we have a reputation of stifling people's opinions? I just, I don't know. That's, that's absurd. I don't know how we, this is silly. Democratic presidential hopeful Barack Obama handily wins in Mississippi as Florida and Michigan look to redo primaries there. Barack Obama was all like, well, I'm just being my usual magnanimous self. I'm not going to rub it in anyone's face that I won in Wyoming and in Mississippi and that I am ahead in delegates. Just the facts that make me really happy. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton was all like, I know a lot of people are saying that Mississippi is just a foregone conclusion for Barack Obama, but I want you to know that I'm for the people of Mississippi, and I think you're all great. Um, would you look at the time on my invisible watch? I've got to go to Pennsylvania. See you later. And now with the Mississippi redneck opinion is my sister, Olivia. My name is Leroy, and I'm from Yazoo City. I'm grateful to be here. I like to go drink and eat some greased bacon. Come on now. I like Kentucky Fried Chicken, Fried Twinkies, Fried Snickers. Basically the fried and the grease. Oh, you got to pour on that bacon grease. Mm -mm. Anybody, come on, I want to go drink. I thought it was a joke, and then I heard from my friend Ricky, but then again, I thought about over. Have you seen a woman trying to run in Mississippi? All they know how to do is fry food. We don't want a woman in the chair. I mean, come on. I already got my wife yelling at me already. I mean, shoot, I don't want a woman in emotions. Uh-uh. No. I'd rather not answer that to keep myself from getting hit in the head with a frying pan. And that's today's news. I'm Marta Costello, and I would just like to say that the views expressed by Olivia's character are neither representative of her views nor this program's. Come on, now.